very special day, slightly bittersweet though. Um, I think you guys can all tell we are at the Porsche Center North Toronto for my GT3 pickup. This is the car that I've been talking about for the longest time, but bittersweet in the fact that uh, I was actually supposed to come here with my dad for pickup. Um, he unfortunately got COVID last night, or I guess my mom did. We wanted to keep things safe, so COVID, like what? He's the one that got me into the Porsche brand. He has this beautiful 993. We were gonna drive it down together. We were gonna take some sweet photos around this way. Unfortunately, that uh, just wasn't in the cards. My travel schedule, I just have so much in the works uh, the next uh, couple weeks that uh, I just had to do pickup today. So we will come back. We will come back to this spot to get photos. But yeah, sweet in the fact that, uh, yeah, this day is uh, a long time coming and uh, let's kind of tour inside. Maybe we'll just do a quick little showroom tour, what they've got uh, inside. I actually was told my old car is still here and then uh, we'll get to the full reveal. Let's get inside. And honestly, the first thing that you see when we enter, you think this is my car, you think. So obviously 2018 GTS, but this is just, an imitator, it's a wannabe. This actually isn't my vehicle, but um, a sweet little pre-owned. Off to this side before we get to all the goodiness. That's looking mighty. And obviously all the benefits of uh, you know being a GT3, it just looks like it's sculpted different. It looks like someone's just taken a nice little razor blade and just made it super aggressive. Obviously the fat wing on the back, which is what I'm looking forward to. That's uh, lunch gonna be served on there at some point. We obviously have uh, Ty Ken, and I can never remember this color. It is, I have to look it up. 992 with the gold rims or the gold wheels. And if we actually go this way, just pairing, passing a pair of black beauties, there's my car, there's my old one. So this just went on the market actually. So if anyone is interested, I'm gonna show you a little secret that no one else really knows I think this should be open, it is. So inside here, that is a six speed, I'm whispering because I don't want them to hear that. That is a six speed shifter with red stitching. That's not normally how it's supposed to be. That is the only six speed 991.2 GTS. It's just the shifter though. Obviously it's still the seven speed manual, but did a little hack on that. Um, no one knows that. And the next owner of this will have a huge surprise a lot of good memories in that car, and we can just see the back. Oh, in that chalk. I still love chalk. It's such a nice color. And this is what I thought was cool. Look at all these GT4s lined up. So from what I was told, these just have such a high premium right now. They uh, are selling and a lot of people are getting their new 992 GT3s. So that's why those are getting switched. So we've got one in black. Once again, my coloring, what is this? It is the, it's like the dark blue, gentian blue, I'm gonna say. Of course, Carrera white, GT silver, timeless. And obviously the yellow at the back. So, I mean, GT4 heaven right here. And the last thing around this corner, so obviously not Cayenne right here. We can actually see, oh, there she is. There she is. If you can't tell my excitement, you can see the, the wing on the back, that full reveal. So I've just got a little bit of paperwork to do before we get to that. Okay, paperwork signed. I'm holding this tripod right now because I'm gonna set this up for the reveal. So hopefully if I just stick this here and I'm gonna adjust this. I guess, uh, here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, the wing on the back. Oh, that looks so good. Oh. What can I even say? Um, hands are probably shaking, thankfully for OSS, but that reveal, I'm actually sweating. You obviously can't see that. So I'm gonna kind of talk through my spec that I got on the outside. This needs no introduction, 992 GT3 the iconic little nostrils at the front, which I'm a fan of. I know that can be polarizing, but uh, that just helps with airflow. And of course the aggressive 
front scoops. So on touring, this little plastic piece is all painted, but I kind of like that with the classic GT3, how it's just still all black. Going around to the side. So one of the choices that I made, the silver wheels. On my previous 911, we had the black center locks on the GTS. I am so happy with the silver wheel choice. I find that black wheels, although they're popular, they're racy, they just lose a bit of detail and uh, these will be a bit tougher to keep clean. Brake choices, I just went with the black ones, no carbon ceramic and um, you know what, you can see some of the brake dust there. I'm sure that will just wear off as I brake hard. I saved myself close to, you know, 12K. I can just invest that somewhere else. Off to the side, wait, I forgot. I forgot to talk about the color, wait a second. So color. <laughs> I wanted ideally a PTS, and for those that aren't in the uh, you know Porsche space, that is paint to sample in pastel orange. So that was my ideal color choice. Couldn't get a PTS slot, so hopefully we can make a future one happen. Porsche, come on, P, C, and T, make that PTS slot available. So I just went with something super classic, like super, super classic, timeless, GT Silver. It's a really unique silver if you haven't seen it. I think it's a gorgeous spec because what this car represents, it's the end of fuel. It's the end of uh, naturally, not only naturally aspirated engines, it's the end of the combustion engine era this will be timeless, this will be classic. So that was kind of my inspiration. And obviously my dad, who just can't be here, his 993 is also in silver. It's not GT silver, I believe it's polar silver. And uh, I, I do wish we had a photo of our cars together, but that will come. Little Porsche sticker on the side. Maybe I might get that uh, changed to be orange, perhaps in the future. And coming around back, you know, this is what makes the GT3 so special, this, this wing. Oh my goodness. This is adjustable. You can see it's the swan neck design. So this kind of, you know, fits in over top that helps, you know, so much with downforce. There is a tiny little ducktail here, which uh, if you choose to remove the wing, which I've seen people do, this just becomes the cutest little ducktail, which might have to be done. I did get the exclusive design taillight. So those are all clear. I think that looks awesome. And just the stance on it is, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of like lost for words. What I really saw on that reveal first up, so when this opens, you guys have to check this interior. This is what uh, caught my eye. I'm gonna like sit inside in a sec. I had to make it a bit unique. That orange stitching, I think, is what makes it so, so special. and into the interior. This is genuinely the first time I am sitting in this car and still kind of smiling ear to ear. I think from what you can see, um, what makes this so special is those hints of orange. So I did go for orange stitching. And uh, as I'm looking off the headrest here, I think it is perfect contrast on the black leather. You know, you can see one of the main features here. I did get the carbon bucket seats. Obviously, being a GT3, this is a race car. These hug you. They aren't uncomfortable in any way. So these cannot adjust at all. These can only go forward or backwards and slightly up and down. But um, I think for me, even being a, a bit of a tall guy, I don't see that being an issue. This is what makes this car so special. So uh, obviously, we got to talk about transmission. So six-speed manual. What other car manufacturer, what other brand, to be honest, still has a sports car that has a manual gearbox, revs to 9,000 RPM, has a naturally aspirated engine? There is no one else in the game that still does this. And unless my left leg is amputated, unless it's gone, I will always try to buy a manual car. For the ones that I truly love to drive, for the ones that uh, you know are really special, I get you can just have a daily driver, stick that in automatic, it's fine. I plan to daily this car. I plan to take it to my studio. I plan to drive it as much as I can. And for people that say, oh, engaging with the clutch is too tiring. It's uh, not enjoyable. You're just downright lazy. I'm gonna stop blabbing. Uh, the rest of the interior, um, you know, I can talk about this stuff for days. I'm, I'm a true Porsche geek. Um, so steering wheel. I chose to get this in leather. I know that GT3 is it's supposed to come in Alcantara, racing text but uh, I do like the feel of a standard leather wheel. Obviously, all that orange stitching. A little feature that I got was this 
really expensive, I think $600, ridiculous, right? For this steering wheel column to be stitched or wrapped in leather with, of course, orange stitching, because when you stare at that analog tachometer, which is something that I love. So I know in the 992.2 GT3s, that's switching to all digital. We're getting really geeky here. I'm super happy that the 992.1 GT3 still has an analog tachometer. You can see where the red line is, 9,000 RPM. I will hit that point. I know there's a break-in period of this car. I think it's a thousand kilometers. You gotta keep it under 7,000 RPM, but uh, we will hopefully break that by the end of the summer. And to hear this engine scream is, um, you know, what makes this car so special. The rest of the dash, I kept it pretty minimal. I love this aluminum trim on the inside. I think it's great. I love all these knurled switches and not everything has to be a touch screen. It's one of the big reasons why I still have an analog watch, which the orange on orange, I'm in orange heaven right now. Last thing before I look away, you can see that I did get uh, these seat belts in, I believe these are called silver gray or light silver to match the exterior. I think these look perfect. Looking around, just a little place to charge the car. Cup holder, which, uh, why would you want to have a cup holder where your stick shift is? I don't think that makes sense. This is just a little piece of plastic, but um, once again, we can't have uh, everything. I'm just being really, really nitpicky. Obviously entire roof, all, uh, this is Alcantara, this is suede. No uh, moonroof or sunroof on GT3s. The next thing that we need to do is to start this car to hear that engine. Let's, um, let's go. <laughs> took a million photos this goes into the front camera bag forgot to show this look at this hood all that exposed carbon fiber it's time to uh to head out so for my first drive essentially shifting into gear oh the park assist this is something where it is not the same. The button is now there. I found it. I found the park assist. Hopefully I don't stall in the dealership. That would be embarrassing. Thank you guys. Wesley, oh, thank you for one. everything. Lori? Levine. Have a good one, Dude. man. So I didn't stall the car out of the dealership. I am so giddy. So I'm rolling up the windows and uh, I'm just making sure we are exposed somewhat. I don't know. If this is overexposed, underexposed, we'll have to figure it out because I am just gonna give you my honest opinions here. Okay, out of the clutch. All right, here we go. My first shift. Oh! Initial thoughts. So everyone says this, obviously, um, what's new about this device? This device, it's like I'm talking tech. What's new about this machine is the double wishbone steering. And that's, uh, you know, at the front, you can feel how darty the front end is. It's almost like you're in like a little golf cart. You're so agile. I can tell you that, you know, right off the bat already, it's special and obviously this being naturally aspirated it is very linear in the response i'm sure as i work my way up the rev range that's you know where that sweet spot in torque will be to be honest my gts 2018 because that's got a you know two turbos in it that has more torque in the low end you can feel that throatiness this you have to work for it and that's what i love there's you know that element that you have to get into that sweet spot that that good rev range really for this to shine. I honestly wish my dad could have been there for this. That's one thing I do regret him not being here to, you know, to see my enjoyment, to see his enjoy Oh, I don't know what that was. Map update was installed, okay. Is this car stiff? Yes. Is it undrivable as a daily? No. For anyone that knows the roads in Toronto, they're absolute garbage as I'm, you know, bumping over all these uh, speed bumps here and nasty bits in the asphalt. It is not unbearable, but uh, I think because I've been lucky enough to own Porsches in the past, I would even argue my 997, that was my first Porsche, um, that was freaking stiff. 
that was almost uh, you know undrivable and now uh, I'm not saying that this is a uh, you know an M3 Touring or an M5 you know cruiser it's fine so far I mean I haven't hit too many potholes yet <laughs> the immediacy of the response of the throttle that's oh my goodness 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 i didn't even break five and a half thousand there and that sounds uh godly now i'm out now i will see you soon oh one more thing i got i gotta keep going the stick on this is so nice very solid mechanical feel feels better than my GTS. It is a shorter throw. Uh, it is the six speed. Nicest manual transmission I've uh, driven by far. Now we're out. First drive done and there was no better place to uh, stop off at uh, other than the house just to see the updates. Uh, five kilometers away. I think uh, all my blabbing inside told you about my initial impressions awesome car. I'll just work it in over the next uh, yeah, couple months. I'll give you guys my full thoughts, but I uh, hope you enjoyed some of the giddiness that uh, I showed on vlog. And um, yeah, once again, just feel so, so lucky to, to call this guy my own. Speechless. Good way to end it. That's it. Peace.